hello everyone so this is the character we have created with uh, Adobe Fuse and animated with Mixamo and finally imported into Unreal Engine so this is just a just a mesh with animation I haven't uh, created a character using this mesh but I will do it in in later I will do it them do it later so yeah this is what I am going to cover today animate the character inside Mixamo the character I created with Fuse and then import it to the Unreal Engine also this character have I have enabled mob targets as well so if you don't know what mob targets are using mob targets we can do things like this well let me let me find a uh, yeah upper lip Yeah, check this check this uh, smile part so by changing this mob target value you can change the facial expression of the character like this so these are mob targets so this will be useful when we create dialogue systems conversations and usual things that we require to make a quest so right that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so here is the custom character we created last time with adobe fuse and uploaded it to mixamo so yeah today i'm going to put that character inside unreal okay so first in order to import that character I'll create a new folder let's call it root and here is the fbx so let me rename this as root and sort of file Yeah, I don't think I can select a skeleton for this one because this one wouldn't match with the skeleton of the objects that I already have. Right, so I'll hit import. Okay, here is the character. Wait why can't i see the mob targets oh uh, i think uh, yeah i ah, i haven't insert uh, enable this import mob target maybe let's enable this and re-import alright but still I don't see them okay when I close the persona and open it I can see that see these all these mob targets right but something is wrong with the materials yeah let's select this Ah, right this is the problem this is translucent I don't think it has to be translucent let's set them all back in fact all of these things instead of other than the hair should be opaque
can I bulk edit this? No, we can't bulk edit these things. Right, so that means we have to go one by one and change to opac. Yeah. Okay, here should be it. I think for here it is okay to leave them as translucent. Let's see this one. Choose. They shouldn't be translucent. They should be opaque. And the bottom as well. Right, now it looks like a proper character. And let's see the... Wait, don't I have any animations? Alright, maybe I haven't... In the import settings, I haven't ticked import animations. Okay, so let's go here and download this without skin. That means just the animation. Right, I got the animation here. Let's oh, first I need a folder. Need to keep things organized from the beginning. Root. Uh, let's use animated time. Okay, animation is working just fine. Let's put this character in the world. Is it too small? Let's play and see. Oh, no, it's not too small. Actually, he's bigger than us. But that's because we are slightly bent due to the animation pose. But he's a bigger man than us. Okay, so right. This is the custom character we have created with Adobe Fuse and animated with Mixamo and imported it finally into the Unreal Engine. So yeah, I'll stop this episode at this point. So in the upcoming episodes, I'm going to use this character and maybe I'll use him as a civilian or some other NPC character so you see this character we can do things like yeah maybe farming or maybe just following the road maybe just standing there in a village usual civilian things alright so yeah if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye and yeah I'll uh, I'll make this character available to download uh, check the link check for the link in the description below